So the last new feature I want to show you in ODN 13 is, yes, you're right, it's feature number 13. This is a very simple little feature, which is nice to have if you're modeling outdoor setups. Uh, like in the case I'll show you, an uh, oil rig. So if you're modeling outdoor uh, setup, you might end up with a geometry like this, where uh, there's no uh, surrounding surfaces. So if you put a source into the room, then the rays will essentially escape from the room, and we can have a look at, at how that would uh, look. So this is not good. And indeed, you would not get valid results out of that. Odeon will stop the calculation. So uh, let's tr try and see if we can fix it. And what we do is we go to the editor. Here we have the editor, and we type bounding box and I give it a, a surface number which is higher than any of the surfaces in the room and I give it a margin of 20% which means that uh, we'll have some space around the geometry so it's not completely uh, touching uh, this bounding box we put into the room. So we need this box and we reload the geometry. Let's see. And there you have your box with these 20% margin which is taken from the, the max dimension of the room so it's 20% uh, of, of this length of uh, this oil rig that we add all around the, the geometry. There's also a parameter if you want to make this geometry stand on the floor, so to speak. So that was what I wanted to show about the bounding box and uh, how you can make use of that in, in order to, um, to uh, close your geometry if it's an outdoor uh, setup. So we just assign 100% absorption here to these six surfaces and we are ready to go and indeed you can see here if we go to the ray tracing that uh, it's true what I'm saying we are terminating the rays when they they hit this bounding box so that was what I wanted to say about that future feature uh, thank you for watching the video